Good morning, Miracle Swingers. I am super duper fired up because I am going to bring you the best of my research that I've done over the last eight months on the over the top Miracle Swing. So I'm gonna be traveling to Mexico City for the next week with my beloved America. We're gonna have an amazing time down there. So I wanted to do this list. Now guys, there are so many people that I've shown have an inside over the top golf swing. The honorable mention list is insane. Guys like Arnold Palmer, Gary Player, Miguel Angel Jimenez. It just goes on and on. I mean, I could name, my gosh, Bernhard Longer, Mike Austin, Kyle Berkshire, Tom Watson, Jackie Burke. I mean, it's crazy, okay? So if you want to learn more about this, go to myswingevolution.com and pick up the over-the-top miracle swing. It's such a simple swing. It's the easiest way to hit a golf ball solid. Now, an even better idea is to sign up for MSC TV. It's just $8.33 a month if you sign up for a whole year and you get the over-the-top miracle swing, plus the Hogan code, plus my fitness, and all of my ongoing updates on the miracle swing, plus my short game secrets. So that's the best deal you can get. The next over-the-top miracle swing intensive is October 29th and 30th. Email me, Christo, at myswingevolution.com if you'd like to come out and learn the over-the-top miracle swing in person. Now let's get into today's video, which is number five, Victor Hovland. All right, guys, let's take a look at the awesome golf swing of Victor Hovland. Now you guys have heard me screaming about this. Here it is right here. It takes it up to the inside and up. And now we're going to see a generous OTT move with a tremendous forward bend at the waist. Now, a lot of people are actually comparing Victor Hovland to Lee Trevino, that he gets into this incredible position with his his right elbow in front of his body, and he's able to absolutely smother this golf ball with his chest and hit this tight little fade here. Now this, uh, this wedge shot's a great example. Let's take a look at this closer. So let's watch this whole thing. Let's watch him take it inside and up. Now he's, he's another one of these guys who flexes his lead wrist. It's bowed. And he gets that club in a great throwing position. And he hits down hard on that ball. This is how I want to hit the golf ball. This is how I want you to hit the golf ball. Because it's the best way to hit the golf ball. Guys, it gives you the most power. Okay, here's our first position at P2. He's going to lift the club up. Now I'm going to put a dot at the point when he's basically inside the most before he starts to have to go over. If you take the club up inside enough, your lead arm will prescribe this half moon shape because you run out of space and that arm is going to have to curve on its way up and it sets you up into the position where you can go OTT and get into this tremendous leverage position that we see Victor Hovland in where he's about to smash this little lob wedge. You know, and that's a pretty generous divot as well. A lot of guys talk about just clipping it, and it looks like he went down and got it. Himself. Well, the lead kind of shrunk around him. Now, this drive is just so much fun to watch. Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> So this is what I want to do. I want to wail on a power fade like this. So that, that tremendous bow at the top of the wrist. But to me, what I'm focused on is the throwing position for his right hand at the top. And boy, is he using the ground great. 
So let's watch this one more time and key in on his Nikes. So it looks to me like he rocks back into his trail heel. This is an important move that I've talked about for a long time. It looks like his toes are light in his right foot. And now we watch the transition and we're going to see his toes are breaking here. Look at his left foot. He's got to break in order to smash. And that left foot actually has to turn out a little bit. Let's watch this swing one more time, paying attention to his finish. There's so much energy from him getting around and over. He's got a nice low left exit. And the energy of this just carries him up to a beautiful finish. I love the athleticism that's on display with this golf swing. And look at how hard he throws down. Look at his right wrist. You see that right wrist is now completely bowed and the left wrist is flexed. You see this in Ben Hogan as well. So now let's put our dots in and take a look at Mr. Hovland's trace. Inside up and over. Oh, that is a work of beauty. Now let's watch it one more time. Go a little bit slower. Now it looks like he takes it away down the line in the conventional manner that most people do it today. But right here around P2, we start seeing him work that handle inside and up a little bit more than you might see some other players on tour right now. Now we're going to see the distinctive half moon pattern from someone who takes it up deep to the inside. And almost by virtue of being so inside, he has nowhere to go but over, which is a good thing. But he's in a position now to really leverage the golf club. And wow, boy, does he look like he is ready to smash. That is what we want in our golf swing, guys. I hope that every day you guys get to experience the same thing because this is something spectacular to behold. What an awesome golf swing. Oh, that is just crushed. So again, the freewheeling nature of this is, is what I would like to have in my swing. I've talked about wanting to lift my hands a little bit higher. That's something that I would like because I think my shoulders get too flat sometimes. But here we can see one beautifully executed, over-the-top miracle swing. Let's watch this thing of beauty one more time just because it's poetry in motion. Guys, if you're not swinging over the top, you're missing out on a miracle. I really want you guys to go to MySwingEvolution.com, pick up a subscription to MSE TV, or get the video, The Over the Top Miracle Swing, because it's changing lives, it's changed mine, and it's changing many others. I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. I want you to swing over the top. You heard me, now hear me out. My little over the top move is the final puzzle piece that I've been searching for for 12 years. I want you to swing over the top because it's easy, it's natural, and many of the greatest golfers in history swung over the top. Do you think uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working uh, on this stuff? On the driver, at least 50 to 60 yards. A few decades ago when golf became a big industry, they began to teach swinging wide and out instead of inside and up. This single change in instruction doomed three generations of golfers. I spent 30 years with a dumpster fire swing trying to figure this out. That's why I started my swing evolution. If you're tired of being a bad golfer, click the link below to experience your very own miracle.